Hello, my name is Dr. Amir Sharaf Khane. I direct the sleep center in our hospital. Welcome to our sleep center. Now that you know what is a sleep apnea and how important it is to diagnose and treat sleep apnea, you may wonder how we can do that. Sleep apnea is diagnosed by conducting an overnight sleep study in a sleep center. We usually ask our patients to come in to our sleep center and one of our very experienced technologists will greet them and will take them to the sleep lab and explain about the procedure. What we usually do is we wire you up. That means we put electrodes on your scalp and also on your chest. We put a very thin tube close to your nose and with that we monitor not only your brain activity and your heart activity but also your breathing. With that we can find out if you stop breathing and how many times you stop breathing per night and how low your oxygen goes. And with that we can find out how severe your sleep apnea is. The more number of time that you stop breathing, the more severe is your sleep apnea. The lower your blood oxygen go, the more severe is your sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is a very expensive test because our patient stays whole night in the laboratory and we have a technologist to monitor them. However, the consequence of not treating sleep apnea is more significant and more costly. Therefore, it is very important to take the sleep apnea seriously and take the test. With that test, we can find out if you have a sleep apnea and then we can find out how severe it is and plan for treatment. When you come to the sleep laboratory at night, we will ask you to bring your comfortable clothes or pajamas that you wear at night. You can bring even a pillow that you're used to using at night. We will ask you not to change your routine when you come for a sleep lab. However, we will ask you avoid taking any nap and we will ask you avoid taking any coffee or any caffeinated beverage. You can drink water if you're thirsty. When you come to the sleep lab, our technologists will see you will greet you and will show you the lab. Then your, our technologist will wire you up. That means he will put some wires on your head, very small thin tube close to your nose that will monitor your breathing and some electrodes on your chest to monitor your heart and at last a probe on your finger to monitor your blood oxygen. After the study is done, the data is sent to me and I will look at your sleep study. I will look at your brain activity, I will look at your heart activity, I will look at your breathing activity and your blood oxygen. I will count number of the time that you may stop breathing or your breathing become very shallow. I will also look at how low your blood oxygen went down during the study. With that I will determine if you have a sleep apnea and if you have a sleep apnea, how severe it is. And after finding out how severe is the sleep apnea, I will make treatment recommendations.